Welcome back to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack, and this is another video tutorial of Photoshop Elements. In this particular video, what we're going to talk about is what I like to call reflections. Now what is a reflection? A reflection is simply a way to take a picture and take it and we're going to make a new layer of it and then flip it over so it's reflecting against the other object. Now to easily um, explain this to you I think it's better if I just go ahead and demonstrate it to you. So let's go ahead and just start right now with the video tutorial. Here I have a picture of a goat standing on a fence. Now what I want to do is have another goat over here with its nose beside this goat. And I thought you know we could do that pretty easily in Photoshop. I mean Elements is made to do uh, interesting projects. So let's go ahead and start doing this project. The first thing we want to do is use the quick selection brush. Go up here and click on plus because we're going to add to the selection. And we're going to select the top half of this goat. Just like simply like this. Use my bracket key, my left bracket key, and make my um, selection here a little smaller. Just come up here around the ear. And now what we're going to do is go to the subtract selection. We're going to take some of this off. Take this off right here. Take that off. Come in here by his ear and bring us down a little bit. Just like so. And we'll cut the back end of this off just like this. Now I'll make my uh, selection tool a little larger and get rid of all this right in here. We don't need that. We want to get rid of that. And we want to fix his ear up here just a little bit because we like to have that piece of ear. Just like this. Alright. Now the next thing we have to do is we're going to have to duplicate that background layer. Notice I didn't do that first. I probably should have. Sometimes I slip. So on the Mac we're going to do a Command J or on the PC we would do a control J and you can also drag it up so we can do it any number of ways now we'll just go ahead and shut that layer off that background because it's locked and we're going to use this one with that selected and with this selection made all we have to do now is go up to layer new layer via copy now what we have here is a picture of the goat's head Okay, now that we have that, what we want to do is click on our Move tool, and this time you can move this around. This is his head. We can move this wherever we want to move it. But all we want to do is kind of move it over, and then grab this side here. You'll see the little double arrows. Left click your mouse and just drag it over. And then pull it back. Then go ahead and pull it some more. You can see there we just spun it around just like that. We spun it around there just by simply clicking on the box and actually using the move tool and moving it and spinning it backwards. Here it is right here. See that better? Oh, let's click the little checkbox here. you can see we actually spun it around. Now that we have that, the only, the only some of this fence is still sitting right here on the bottom of his neck. So you have to clean that up. So let's go ahead and use the eraser tool. With that layer selected, just go up under here and just basically pull that off with the eraser tool just like this. Okay. Now at that point, the last thing I like to do to finish this kind of project up is you have to look at it and you say, well, you can see how these fence marks are right here in his neck. Now, we could probably fix that with the uh, clone stamp tool. We'll see if we can fix that up a little bit. Just basically move some of his fur back down there. So that way we fix that up. It looks okay now. 
Now the back of this though, this is this would be a little bit harder to fix. I mean I'm sure you can get in there with the clone stamp tool again. You can just fix that up just by pulling some more fur in here. And on larger areas, remember, don't fill uh, too much locked into the clone stamp tool because you can always take a piece of this fur, right? We can always do something like that and do a new layer via copy. We've done this before. Click on your move tool. We can just drop that in there, right? Fill that patch in pretty quickly doesn't look too bad. If it does, just lower the opacity just a little bit. Kind of blend it in there a little bit better. There you go. Now the main object was just to fill that in so we have a complete picture now. But you can leave it this way, but to even make it look more realistic, just simply go over to your crop tool and let's look at this picture about where we want it here and just crop this off. Just do something like this. Hit the crop tool, go up to view, fit the screen, and there you have it. Now it looks like there's two goats that was actually standing in the barnyard actually kissing or putting their noses together, I guess. So that's it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. And if you have, make sure you stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com, and check out all the DVD collections there. You'll see a lot of these type of tutorials on those DVDs. High resolution, it's great to have in your library. So until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.